It was the best of makes. It was the worst of makes. <laughs> okay, maybe not the worst. But some of these surprised me this month and not in a good way. Hi everyone. Welcome to Viv Mom Sews May 2021 sewing projects. I wound up with 17 completed projects for the month of May. However, three of them will not be here today because they were pajamas for Candace and they have flown the coop. I can show you the patterns I used. I made her a sleep shirt using Butterick 6207. She absolutely loves it. I made it short sleeve and this has raglan sleeves goes together very easily and I used a very soft rayon spandex and she said it's like a second skin. The other set I combined two patterns. I did Simplicity 9219 for the top, just, just a little tank and she loves that very much. But the shorts I kind of aired on. These are Butterick 6528 and I knew she wouldn't want anything big or roomy. So I sewed these shorts, but she said they look kind of like bicycle shorts. So they're a little too long and they're, she said they're just a little too form fitting. But other than that, she loves the pajamas. I don't know if I've shown you this uh, set that I sewed. I didn't sew it this month but I sewed it when I was on hiatus last year, and I'll put the number in the description box. It's a Simplicity two-piece. The skirt has pockets, and I made it out of an ITY knit. So, here they are. There they are. We're going to have two guests in the studio today. I did some men's sewing, so that is coming right up and let's get this show on the road. I'll be right back. First up, we have a short set for Brad. I pulled out Simplicity 8180 for the shirt. I like this pattern very much. However, I learned something interesting. I've made this shirt before out of a high quality cotton from Fabric Mart. Had no trouble whatsoever. But then this time I was using more of a quilting cotton. I absolutely fell in love with it when I saw the print, but it was not that great to sew with. And it just surprised me again how differently even the same substrate can behave. Both cotton, 100%, but I had trouble this time collar didn't want to fit and the interfacing didn't want to lie flat, etc. However, I do recommend this pattern. It's great. 8180 Simplicity. The shorts, oh gosh, McCall 7987. Don't get me started on this one. More on that later. Come on in here and show them. <laughs> I really love this outfit on you. And do men wear outfits? Uh, they wear shirts and pants usually. Okay, they wear shirts and pants. So come closer and show them that really cool print. It's sort of a very, very pale salmon with this cool gray print on it. It's kind of like a vintage cabana wear or something. Maybe so. The shorts, I don't like this pattern. I do not like McCall's 7987. The gall of them to call this a learn to sew really steams me because there are incorrect instructions in here. There are very shoddy instructions in here. Shoddy? But they fit you and they look so good on you. Do a oh, yeah. spin. Okay, so here's the back. Now this shirt just has a plain back, no uh, pleat or anything there, no yoke. So it's a plain shirt, but I love how it fits Brad. 
and the shorts just fit beautifully. They don't have a welt, they just have a patch pocket back here, but he said if he has some place to put his wallet, he's happy. So no welt pocket on those. Of course, front pockets, and, um, and it's a great look. So good to go. Good to go. You've already worn it to an event, a Memorial Day family event yesterday. Yesterday? Probably. Day before yesterday. And um, he got compliments. So that always makes the seamstress feel good, right? Bravo. <laughs> I think you look great, hun. Thank you. Here's why. I think well, so too. I think I told you why I didn't like this pattern, but it just really bothers me that someone might pick this pattern up and think, oh, it's it's um, learn to sew for fun. This will be great. And if this is their introduction to sewing, that's tragic. Because like I said, I've sewn quite a few garments in my time and I was confused. I had to make notes on this where they were just outright incorrect um, you know or just some some helpful things like when they're telling you to do the fly and I wrote some one row of the zipper teeth are to be exposed and then they have you basting which you do not need to do small complaints yes but I do love the fit I just caution you if you're gonna reach for McCall's 7987 Hang on. A jumpsuit so nice, I made it twice. Simplicity 8971 from 1994. Looking mighty dated there on that pattern envelope. But I chose linen once again. Last month I made this in a hunter green linen. And this month I went with a very bold print. But I gotta say, I love this little jumpsuit. I had pockets. We have buttons down the front. I only put four on this time and five seemed to fit last time. Once again, the idiosyncrasies of sewing. You never know what's going to happen. We have bus darts, we have fisheye darts in the back, and I cut this to make it sort of midi length and the flared legs. I think it looks perfectly modern, at least more so than this. And linen and summer just go together. So that was round two for this pattern. My bold print linen jumpsuit and of course this fun fabric came from fabric mart fabrics i believe colin is on deck next hang on so i want to sew colin shorts this summer and i picked up mccall's 7668 the other night these are athletic shorts and they have kind of the slanted pockets on the front. Now he didn't know I was gonna make these, and then I saw some fabric and I thought, I think he'll like it. I hope he'll like it. Once I got started, I just went full speed ahead and completed these in an evening. I gave them to him the next morning and he likes them. Love them. Loves them, okay. <laughs> Now, these are basic shorts. They have um, elastic here in a waistband. No drawstring. No drawstring. Here are the pockets, but what he truly loves is this fabric. This is a very, I'd call it medium weight, cotton spandex, and it has 8% spandex, so they're real stretchy. Yeah. And Very comfortable. I wasn't even trying to get a pattern match on the front there, but it worked out perfectly. Come a little bit closer so they can see those colors and 
there's that design. golds, there's blacks, there's blues in there. Do you feel like it's a little bit Gucci-esque? It's very Gucci. It's very Gucci. I decided to style it as with an all-white t-shirt. Okay. And then just continuing the white theme with these brand new Ultra Boosts that I got for my birthday. And then just white socks. So it's a great summer look. Okay. And it's very, they're very breezy, you know, lightweight shorts. Very comfortable. So they're, they're very comfortable. So that was a total hit. And then I thought, I'm going to run with that and make some more. So pop up and get on the next pair. <laughs> this time I chose uh, Quixo 4201. Now, I would not let him see the front of this pattern envelope because is that doing anything to sell a young man on fashion i ask you admittedly these are like this is like loungewear but i wanted more um yeah you might say fashionable shorts for young colin so there aren't shorts in here i just chose the pants pattern cut them off to make them shorts and i know that he loves a drawstring so I put two buttonholes in the front. This pair that he's going to show you do not have a waistband, but um, you just fold over and make a casing. And I put two buttonholes there, and what I did was attach the drawstrings to elastic. So the drawstrings hang out, but they're attached to elastic, which goes around his waist. And these that are coming up have inseam pockets, which he seemed, seemed to prefer. On this short that he just modeled, I don't know if you can even see that, but the pockets are put on the front of the shorts and not integrated in the side seams. Okay, here he comes, hang on. So I chose a Beautiful green ponty knit for these shorts for Colin, and then I put a bright orange drawstring in and sort of accidentally made you yeah. Miami Dolphin <laughs> Miami Dolphin colored shorts, but you're going to Miami, so that's true. I love it. So with this one I just did can we do another take? Sorry. I was just like, I can't. You have to keep going. Oh. Okay. <laughs> All right, well, with this... <laughs> it's live, baby, it's live. With this shirt, so I went for a summer vibe with the shirt. You can see some of this, the floral look right there. Birthday gift, sure. Birthday gift, and then with the shorts, you got the orange, which I'm then bringing out in the watch. Oh, nice. And then the green, and then the super bright. Actually, they're called Miami on, on one side of the shoes. So. Okay, are those LeBrons? Yeah. All right, yeah. He's, he's kind of in hot water these days. So again, we have a... An elastic waist. Here are the drawstrings coming out. They're semi-functional, I guess. Yeah. And inseam pockets, which you seem to prefer. Is oh yeah, true? and they have a different color on the inside. Oh yeah, I did a contrast yeah. pocket there. And those are great shorts. You look like cool as a cucumber. Thanks. Ready for the boardwalk, huh? Yeah. All right. Thanks, Colin. I'll be right back. Hang on. Quick sew. 3676. This is a dress pattern from 2009, and these dresses are to be made in knit fabrics. Stretch knits. I picked up this really pretty, let me get close so you can see. It's silver and white, kind of like an animal print, but very, very small scale. And it is a stable double knit. I got it at Fabric Mart for $1 a yard. I'm not even kidding. I couldn't believe it. So I chose the view with this rather dramatic collar. I don't even know if that's a cowl. Maybe that's a cowl, I don't know. Um, and I knew that this fabric would have the structure to stand up. The jury is out. I do not know. I, I thought I'd really like that collar because I'm all for covering up my neck, but I don't know if I like it. Um, I like the rest of the dress. The There's kind of cap sleeves here that form, and you sew these shoulder seams in a definite arc, 
which was kind of new to me, but I guess it forms that cap sleeve there. There is a seam down the back, and there are side seams. There aren't pockets or anything. And you can see that on the pattern envelope, she has a band on the bottom of her dress, and I decided to skip that. But it's just very easy to make. Um, you know, I think it could work. I just, I'm just not sure about that collar. Let me know what you think about the collar in the comments. I do love the fabric. And it could have been reversible. The other side is just, you know, the exact same but reversed. So, a dollar a yard. Can you believe it? Quick sew, 3676. An easy little dress to toss on and could pretty much go anywhere you're going. I'll be right back. This top is Butterick 6183. It's a Lisette pattern. You'll notice that mine doesn't have sleeves. <laughs> More on that in a minute. Now, the skirt I had made previously. And I love this skirt. It's a crazy print of cabbages. And they're against what looks like pink, a pinkish hued background with almost a wood grain design to it. So the skirt is very uh, unique. And I didn't really have anything to wear with it. So I thought I'm going to make a dedicated top to go with this skirt. I knew I wanted something short, and I thought that this would do great. But there have been a couple problems. One may be my fabric choice. I cannot get this fabric to iron. It does have princess seams, and those can be a little bit tricky to iron. But, you know, like here's the sleeve piece, and I pressed it and pressed it and pressed it, and it's still wrinkled. The reason I don't have sleeves, look at the hump on that sleeve. I mean, I took one look at that, and I'm like, no, we're not doing that. Um, that is just a crazy amount of sleeve to ease in, and I was not up for the task. So I left it sleeveless. Um, in the back, I put a little tie at the top. Is this supposed to have, I can't remember if this is supposed to have a zipper. One moment, please. Uh, hmm. Yes, yes, this is supposed to have a zipper. And I also didn't want to muck with that. I had read some reviews that putting the exposed zipper in was no fun at all. And I thought, why does it need an exposed zipper? So I am not crazy about this top. The color is a perfect match. It's a really cute top. It has a yoke, but I can't get it pressed. That's the fault of the fabric. And the pattern, I can only say, was just, just so-so for me. Uh, the pants in there look very cute. Might give those a try. Butterick 6183. I'll put the number of the skirt in the description box. I can't remember what it is, but I know it was a new look. All right. Here we go with one of my favorite pants patterns ever. This is Quick Sew 3807. Very close fitting pants. You can put zippers in at the ankles if you'd like. I usually just have about four to five inch slit openings so you can get your feet in. And then for the top, you can basically use any pattern to just create a shell, a front, a back, and then I did bias binding on the neckline and armholes. But in this case, I used Simplicity 8094. I didn't use any of those lengths specified there. I made my own, but I did put the little side slits in there. And this is really pretty fabric that Kashi sent me from Metro Textiles. It has a floral motif in 
the black fabric. It's a poly woven. It behaved beautifully while I sewed. It wasn't difficult at all, despite being very, very thin and light. So this is just kind of a classic outfit here. Um, the fabric on these pants is glorious. It is a heavy stretch twill in off-white. And I also made it in mind to go with Simplicity 8951, which was the little cardigan that I made for my Fabric Mart Fabricista Make. So I can put this on if we're, going, if we're out during the evening and it gets a little bit chilly. My idea was I could just toss on my little cardigan and it just makes a nice outfit. Three pieces, done. I like those little slits on the side and I do have them on the pants as well. Like I say, you have to leave an opening to get your feet in. So I really like this basic black shell. I wish you could see the flowers in it, but they're just not going to show up. I know they're not. Anyway, it's a really lovely fabric from Metro Textiles. This great uh, stretch twill came from Fabric Mart, as did this beautiful Hachi sweater knit, which is nice and soft. I've got a few more. I'll be right back. Here's another look to go with my white pants. This is Quick Sew 2866. 2866. A simple little top, but I chose chiffon. I think I said one time, chiffon always sounds like a good idea, and it never is. However, I do think it's beautiful. It's navy blue and light blue. It has these cascading paisleys and it came out a little short for my taste so I just added a ruffle onto that. This is a fine pattern, no complaints. Uh, just the length didn't quite suit me. And here's the back, pull over. Very cool feeling, not really fun to work with but you know you're gonna love it when you get done. <laughs> so that is just another look to wear with these white pants and dress it down a little bit with espadrilles and be ready for an evening stroll, perhaps. All right, what do I have left? I think we are almost done. So, on the one hand, I found a new pants pattern that I adore. It is Simplicity 8841. You can make these wide leg or you can taper them. I plan to make many more. They fit me right out of the package perfectly. Didn't have to do a darn thing to them. And they came together really easily too. I love this pattern. The top uh, was a tad vexing. Simplicity 1920. You got a lot of cute pieces in here and I was just doing the pullover top. Now, here's what everything looks like. I chose a pink linen for these pants and the cool thing is that this linen has a silver pinstripe running through it. They have pockets. I made them uh, cropped length and the fuller leg. But like I say, you can also make them a bit tapered as you see there. And you can put belt loops on them and do side seam pockets instead of these front pockets. The top is sewn out of pure cotton. 100% cotton, kind of like a lawn or a voile, very thin. I did not like this neck binding at all. Now, it, I don't know if you can tell, it looks very wrinkled in real life. And again, I pressed and steamed and steamed and pressed and it looks perfectly flat on the inside and kind of wrinkled on the outside. 
The other thing I do not like are these split sleeves. I feel like they make me look even more broad up here where I like to look a little more broad on my lower half. So I don't think that's an ideal style for me, um, but you know, I made it as drafted. So it's just a little pullover top that calls for woven fabric. And um, I liked the concept of it, but I don't really, I don't really like it. I don't think this style is good for me and I don't know how to fix that. So it's not a big deal. You know I'm gonna wear it because I wear everything I sew. But the pants, they remind me of New Look 6517, which is another favorite pants pattern. But these, I think these are even better because they just went together so easily. I made them in about an hour and a half. I mean, what, what's not to love, you know? I'm just gonna make a whole bunch of these. You could even cut them off and make them shorts. I have one thing left. Thanks for hanging in with me. I'll be right back. Here we have loungewear from Coco Beal. This is Vogue 9979, a caftan pattern. You can put a hood on it if you'd like. These are both full length, but I chose to make mine a little bit shorter. This is just a super comfortable dress. I also shortened the sleeves a little bit. And this fabric, this outrageously great fabric, comes from Metro Textiles and features zebras all over it in kind of a large scale print. This dress has pockets. And I think next time, I'm going to make this be a little more relaxed. It's got one of those great big facings in there. And I don't mind that. I just think it's a little bit high up. Um, it's pretty accurate there on the drawing. I think it could dip a little bit lower, but for a caftan, what can you say? Pure comfort. And this print just sort of elevates it a bit. This is an ITY knit, so it's kind of heavy. And it is wonderful. It is wonderful. We do have a front seam and a back seam. And it is raglan sleeve, no darts. The hood, as you might imagine, is huge. <laughs> So I didn't put the hood in. If I did, I think that I would scale it back some. It's really big. But I love Coco Beal. She did very easy Vogue, and her designs are very stylish, but not difficult to sew at all. Of course, they're long out of print now. I usually get mine on eBay. Well, that is wrapping it up for today. Thank you for coming by and spending this time with me to see what I was up to in May. I desperately need to vacuum my house. My sewing room looks pretty bad. <laughs> so I need to do some cleaning and um, get ready for more sewing because that's what we do and I love it. Everything will be listed in the description box below, and I'll see you in the comments. Have a wonderful day, and thanks again for being here. Bye.